Ah. I drank, so here we are. Not a bad choice. Hitaku versus Professor Beef. I'm pretty sure Professor Beef is an old school like brawl player or something. Yeah, I think so. Yo, Nanus is super chill, uh, rooting for Hitaku. <laughs> what a bastard. Yo, we got all the Santa Rosa people in the chat rooting them on. We got, and Santa Rosa is here, of course, every week, coming out to show their love for their people and also play and beat some ass. And we're going to see um, how Hitaku handles this villager. Yo, so those uh, custom needles yeah. are hella good. They charge super fast. They do a fucking ton on shield. Yeah. And you can still get bouncing fish out of them. Nice. So there's kind of no reason not to use them. And so the, um, that's the, the, the sprout that trips, the custom. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen that being thrown out by uh, Professor Beef, and that, that chills out for a while. Oh, there it goes. All right. It stays out for fucking ever. Yeah. But you can roll over it. You can jump over it. Right, yeah. Now, since we're on Battlefield, like, she can just, like... Platform it. Yeah, platform and flip and all that good stuff over it. So we're seeing Professor Beef do a really good job of maintaining the neutral and just, like, keeping you talking for being able to approach and... Kitaku normally plays kind of a little bit more campier, a little bit, throws a lot, a lot of needles. So I think when it's camp against camp, like, Villager wins that contest. Yeah, for sure. Like, Sheik has to go in. That's like your job. Yeah. Once you hit confirm something, you need to get a bunch of hits off of it because you don't do that much damage. Like, right now Hitaku's just throwing out lots of needles. It's working. Yeah. But, uh... He's you gotta get, kill, man. He's gonna have to get in there and make some serious moves, like to get a get a kill move, something. Yeah. Which for Sheik, they're far and few between, unfortunately. Beef is just taking so much damage. Yeah. He's just getting hit by needles over and over again. The talk is going for no, nope, no grab release. It's a fair. Itaku's like the least aggro Sheik in the world. Yeah. I think in a match like this where, again, like I said before, when it comes to, like, camping out and setting up these walls, like, he has to approach. Yeah. He's going to have to do something. Yeah. Like, not on the ledge, but when they're in the middle of the stage. Yeah. Fuck him up, man. He's getting, I mean, Beef is not shielding very much. Yeah. I feel like you could just get in his face, get a nice up B read, but he's at way too high a percent for like any kind of grab setup. Yep. Now you're just giving him full rage and just, I don't know. There you go. There we go. Hit him with that back air. Man, what have you been up to this week? Dude, I've been just working. Um, still coming down from that really bad cold that kept me from going to NCR. I feel you, dude. But um, a lot of people got bodied after NCR, like oh, so done. <laughs> we got JV three by that sickness. Yo, quickness. for real. But yeah, it's been working, man. Um, trying to you know step up some uh, some other like art game stuff, you know, just you know making it, making it do what it do, and playing Smash. <laughs> been in the lab for like the past weeks where I haven't been in competing. In the lab. And, and well, he talked to himself being still the lead right now, but if Professor Beef can land something to get him out of there, get that uh, back throw, that'll wrap up that stock. But uh, she can sit pretty at 148. It is going to be a tough time for Beef to come back. Zick back. And Hitaku takes it with the two stock. There we go. So what does Professor Beef need to do differently if he, wanna, if he wants to take a game off Hitaku? What does he need to do? <laughs> Pick a different character? He needs... <laughs> he can play villager. He yeah. just needs to actually know how to use the character. Yeah. Like, a lot of villagers do the same thing. They're like, I'm going to hit you with the fair. I'm going to hit you with the fair, I'm going to set up camp, I'm going to throw projectiles at you. Mm -hmm. 
but they don't know how to be aggressive and get the kill. Like, right. close out the stock. It's not hard to do. Yeah. With all of the camp that you can set up, the reason you camp is because you want to take out all of the options that a player has and make them approach you. Yeah. If they're in your face, you know that they only have certain options. Like, you can, you can put a sapling in front of them, throw out a gyro, and then go in and grab. And, like, yeah. get a back throw. Do a pivot grab and get a back throw. They're at hella high percent. Do something, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Get them off stage. Try and fair them out after. Like, yeah. you have a lot of options. So, so you think that um, he's relying too much on, like, day one villager tactics? Yeah. And not kind of, like, doing anything a little bit different to kind of, like, advance that character to make him have those options to approach and have those options to get those kills. He needs to kind of be a little bit more aggressive but still also remain putting those balls. Yeah, dude, it's it's just interesting. Yeah, because Villager is a character. I was telling Mr. Pink earlier. Mm -hmm. Villager is a character that has a lot more potential than we're seeing because so yep. many people don't play aggro with him. Right. But he really has amazing normals. I agree. Fucking like godlike normals. But uh, people just don't go in enough. Right. You can still set up camp. Like it's a good idea. You have those tools. Yeah. But you're just gonna get messed up if you're just relying on. Yeah, I think Villager is a little bit more offensive than people are letting on. Like, he has options. They're not the best options, mind you, at all, but he can still approach and do a couple things. Yeah. Oh, looks like he went with the um, with a different, like, loadout. I'm not sure if he went um, normal. Oh. There we go. The realness. I love, love, love seeing that. At yeah. Because I love Sheik's up smash so much. I've, all, I've loved it since Melee. So, such a cool move. So Beef has no options now. Right. From the way that he plays, it's like, you're done. Because he can, Yeah. He's not going to be able to rack up enough percent because Hitaku's like, just using these needles. Yeah. Trademark Hitaku needles. For sure. His shield is down to nothing. He has no platforms to work with if he wants to be able to at least throw out his projectiles uh, in return. Hitaku's right. just running over him, dude. So would you say that um, download complete? Download complete. There it is. Up, there it is. Rip. And download what a, complete. And what a turnaround coming from that first match to where it was, it was a little long. Yeah. But Hitaku was like, nah, I got you. I got your number.